1982, Sashi was among a group of women who uh, founded Cypress Hills Local Development Corporation. And she also was on the board of directors initially, and she served as president of the board until she passed. Ceci was an active member of this community, Cypress Hills. She advocated for young people. She wanted educational quality schools for young people. She loved this community. We, I never saw someone love a community so much as she did. So I'm pretty sure in, in deciding why a scholarship and why it named after Ceci was because of her advocacy as far as education you know, was concerned. It was important to, to Ceci that people would be educated. You know, education is a, t is a key to success. You give someone a tool and that opens their universe. But she said to me, you know, there are so many doors already closed if you're a person of color and you, you have to be as well armed as you possibly can be. And education, that's some of the best, you know, the best tools you can have. Um, so you, you've got to go for it. And I received an email stating that I was, uh, I was accepted a recipient to this, um, for the scholarship and was so grateful, it really was. The CTM scholarship helped me a lot as far as the books. Like, with my major, the books are very expensive as far as like $300, $400 books and all this stuff really helped. I think what we need to think about now is to try to keep the memory of Ceci Tora Mullane in place and by keeping our minds set to help students to stay in, go to college, stay in college, and follow them. So I would like for everyone who is uh, here today and tell everyone else to kind of put their minds together to help uh, complete and follow the Ceci Tora Mullane Scholarship Fund by contributing Thank you to everyone that's participated in the CTM scholarship. I could not get through none of this without you guys. I really appreciate it.